Hey guys, my name is Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. I wasn't planning on filming today, but I am going to be doing a quick project on my hutch behind me. Um, I just picked up this contact paper from Target and I love the print so much. I've actually been thinking about tiling or stenciling the back of my hutch right here with a very similar pattern to this. Um, a couple of years ago, I did a faux shiplap on the back of here, which I'll show you a little closer in a minute. Um, I just did white paint and a Sharpie and you guys like liked it, but didn't love it. And honestly, I haven't loved it necessarily either, but I just went with it for a couple of years because who has time to be doing the same thing over and over again? And then about a year ago, I painted it this green. Um, you guys asked me a lot what color this is. And I will say that I mix this color myself using a couple of Dixie Belle greens, but the new Dixie Belle color called Cactus is very, very similar. It's a silk paint from Dixie Belle, not a chalk paint. So it has the base coat and the top coat built in. So if you go on my Etsy site, it's not gonna be listed under the chalk paints. It's gonna be listed under the silk paints in the colors Cactus again. And it's very, very similar, maybe a little bit more gray, but still very close to this green. Um, I think it would give you the same effect. So um, I'll link both of those videos down below when I paint this and when I do the ship lap, if you're interested in those. But today I'm gonna be just filling in this backing here using this contact paper. I wanted to see how the quality was. It was only $5 in the dollar spot at Target. Um, the tag looks like this. Um, and it's a roll that's 18 inches wide by 120 inches long. So for $5, I thought that was a really good deal. So let's see how easy it is to work with. Now, as you can see, I already threw a sample piece right here. I was just wanting to see if it was even worth my time to film it, but it was quality enough that I could kind of peel it and re-stick it and get it nice and flat. So I actually think it's a really good product for $5 and I really, really like the print of it. I know a lot of you are gonna be bothered that I didn't take out these lines from my old shiplap, shiplap, um, but I didn't wanna erase them or paint white over them just in case I end up wanting to change the wallpaper out because I have the shiplap up here and I'm not gonna wallpaper that today. So if I ever want this to match again, I can just take this contact paper off which is why I don't want to erase the lines because I want to have that option to go back to the shiplap. So I'm going to leave the lines. They're not offensive, you know, it's okay. I think most people won't even notice. So I'm going to go ahead and just keep going around. All I'm doing is measuring my length and then laying it in there. It went nice and easy. I mean, I don't have perfect edges, but it's pretty close and the paper is holding up pretty well. So I'm going to see how well I can match the seam. That's what I'm most worried about. I did consider doing it long ways, but when you have a big sheet like that, it gets pretty unwieldy with one person doing the job. So I'm just gonna cut my smaller sections and see how it goes. mistake because I have to consider pattern matching, um, which I did not consider when I cut my section. Hmm. Maybe a little trickier than I thought. So I'm turning my paper right now the wrong way, the long ways. Try to see if I can make a match this way. I don't know if it's gonna work. I almost feel like I should just scrap this piece and, or I could probably just use it on the side later, um, but just get my roll back out and do it the long ways like I talked about not wanting to do. But I think that might be easier. Right. So as you can see, things immediately started getting trickier than I expected. Um, I only had my one like sample panel up before I realized um, it was not gonna be as easy as I thought. So right there, I was going to go long ways and just try to like unroll it in one big sheet, but it was just really tedious and hard to keep everything straight that way. Uh, mostly because there's just this little like bump in the back of the hutch. If it had been a flat panel, it would have been so much easier, but I did wanna try to work around this and keep it all as seamlessly as seamless looking as possible. 
um, but I did end up just kind of cutting it with an X-Acto knife as I was going through the corners um, just so the paper would bend and work with me a little bit easier. So it ended up working out, but it was just a lot harder than I thought it was going to be, um, especially just around those detailed pieces. So this part took me a lot longer than I thought. Um, I don't really know that I've done a lot of contact paper in the past. We have like wallpaper to wall before and I've used it in drawers before, um, but not necessarily like on something vertical like this. Uh, so there was just like a lot of trimming to do and aligning it up was just, it was just a lot harder than I expected. So I'm not sure if maybe there was a better way. Maybe I should have just like cut strips of it and just worked with it that way. Um, I don't know. I, did, I, I found that I was getting the hang of it by the end and this was such a small section that even though it was kind of rough, it didn't take me too long just because it was such a small area, but I definitely feel more confident about putting contact paper on something now. Um, I've never really had a lot of practice before, like I said, so I feel a little bit more confident now that I could do something a little harder, but it was definitely just trickier than I thought. So um, not everything that I do goes perfectly smoothly like you guys you guys tend to say that in my comments that I make everything look easy but no this was actually super hard and um, I did just kind of want to share that because it, it can look easy on camera because I'm letting it go so quickly but really this was a lot of like trial and error and taking it off and putting it back on so um, just know if you try to do a project similar to this and it's not going well um, you're still probably doing it right it's just kind of hard to do so um, I hope that helps you if you decide to do something like this also Okay, I am all done after much trial and tribulation. Um, I sweated during this project an embarrassing amount. It was much more stressful than I anticipated. Um, and it took me close to two hours. Can you believe it? I did have to stop and change diapers though and make smoothies and break up fights. So it wasn't a solid two hours, but it was a lot trickier to line this stuff up. And because it's such thin contact paper, I was having some wrinkling. So did I do a perfect job? No. And did I do a good job? Also no, but I did an okay job. And as long as I don't zoom in, it's gonna look pretty good for you guys, especially. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just restyle the hutch. Um, also dust it, cause it's pretty dirty. And I'll be all done with this. All right, I'm not loving the jars there, so I'm going to reevaluate, try something else. All right, I'm sure I'm gonna redo this arrangement a million times, but I will stop for now. I love how this looks. I think it really made it look more expensive and the whole hutch area just looks nice and complete. I don't know how to explain it, but I really just think it kind of tied everything together. And I like that it added some pattern over here and not just clutter. Um, I don't know, just something that kind of draws the eye. I think the hutch is one of my favorite things in my whole house. And again, this is very similar to the cactus green. So I'll have everything linked down below for you so you guys can reference that color if you need to. Um, and make sure you let me know what you think of this transformation down in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.